good morning student in this our course that is fundamental of horticulture today we are discussing about the scope and importance of the horticulture crops so there is the huge scope of the horticulture crops in maharashtra and india because so we have the diverse agroclimatic condition so india is blessed with the diverse agroclimatic condition which results into cultivation of the varieties of the fruits uh, means we have the uh, temperate fruits uh, such as apple pear peach strawberry grapes cherry then tropical fruits like banana cashew nut jackfruit pineapple cocoa and the subtropical fruits such as mango bear jamun citrus guava right from kashmir to kanyakumari we have this diverse diverse agroclimatic conditions so the next is the better utilization of the land the hilly and undulating cultivable cultivable land uh, also utilized for this plantation of this horticultural crops india is about uh, 9.65 lakh per hectare can be brought under the cultivation by growing of the dry land fruit crops such as custard apple onla bear date tamarind pomegranate and fig the next scope is the availability of the irrigation facility so the many irrigation projects have been con uh, constructed and water can be given at the critical stage of the growth for the better yield and the quality of the fruits the number of the percolation tan tanks are being constructed and new schemes for the irrigation are being implemented efficiently then availability of the good transport facilities the metro cities in india are well connected to each other by good road roadways railways and the airways which can help in the quick transport of the horticultural commodities then markets of the international repute in india there is the availability of the market of international repute um, that is your mumbai chennai kolkata delhi bangalore uh, then selling of this horticulture produ produce is easy in that area then availability of the improved variety so improved and high yielding varieties of different horticultural crops released by the various universities institute and the private companies are available for a cultivation so the development of the high yielding varieties of the fruit fruit crops such as the mango uh, we have the ratna amrapali malika sindhu kokan samrat this hybrid variety for the production purpose then in case of your pomegranate we have the ganesh phule bhagwa phule bhagwa super p26 then g1 137 then grapes in case of the grapes the we have the thompson seedless tase ganesh sonaka manik chaman saga gota then kishmish chorni flame seedless sharad seedless beauty seedless in case of the guava we have the sir that is gl49 lalit Allahabad safed which are the high yielding varieties of the guava then cashew nut we have the number of the uh, varieties in case of your uh, cashew nut the vangurla number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the 8 are available for the grower uh, growers similarly introduction of some commercial cultivation of some of the new crops like bear onla pomegranate fig have the good scope for the bringing the more and more area under the cultivation the next is the availability of the good quality planting material so we have the good planting materials developed by the nurseries of the agriculture universities government nurseries and the ngos are available for the growers the next we have the improved techniques in horticulture so the improved techniques like hdp that is your high density poly uh, uh, high density plantation then meadow orcharding Uh, regeneration techniques training and pruning baha treatment bending in guava then ringing in mango girdling in grapes notching in fig use of the growth regulators are available to the growers for getting the higher yield and the better quality then availability of the cheap labor so the horticulture industry requires the labor continuously for carrying out the different operations in the orchard for this purpose we require the laborers Uh, so we have the supplied as there is a cheaply available uh, available in india hence there is a great scope of, for the cultivation of this fruits which definitely help in a keeping down the production cost at the lower level then availability of the cold storage facility and processing technology during the peak period of the particular uh, crop 
there is the glut in a market and prices really realized very low so this can be solved by storing the fruits in a cold storage and processing them into many value added products such as jam jelly juice syrup powder pickle preserve flakes of the vegetables and the fruits then hence there is a good scope for the setting up the a mini agro based industry then next we have the availability of the bank loan facility so the many commercial banks with the government agencies are providing loans uh, at low interest to the growers for the promotion of horticultural industry then government incentives so realizing the need for the area of expansion in fruit crops during 1990 government of maharashtra have started a very ambitious program which gives the 100% subsidy to the marginal farmers towards the establishment and maintenance of the fruit orchard for the period of 3 years and national horticulture mission during the 2005 which is now named as a mission for integrated development of the horticulture then high returns per unit area so the average production of the horticulture crop is many time more than the agronomical crops and therefore the net returns are also more so to meet the dietary requirement as per the per capita consumption of the fruits in india is very low uh, however in usa it is 202 kg per capita per year in case of pakistan it is 100 kg per capita per year and in india it is only 93 g per capita availability whereas the requirement is a 120 g per day per capita the standard of living of the peoples of the country can be judged on the basis of the per capita consumption of the fruits and vegetable so the prices of the fruits are so high so as to keep the fresh fruits out of to reach the large population with more efficient production and the marketing the prices could be reduced as to increase the consumption of the fruits and the still provide a good profit to the growers and we also have the good export potential that is the fresh fruits like mango grapes pomegranate gra- uh, guava orange have the good demand in international market too hence there is a great potential for getting the more foreign action so this is all about your uh, scope for these uh, horticultural crops in uh, india so as like we have the great importance of these horticultural crops in maharashtra as well as in india so we have the high return per unit area so the returns per unit area are very high for a fruit crops as compared to agronomical crops then acts as a bed rock for a many agro industries so the horticultural crops provide a raw material to many industry like fruit processing industry cannery industry pickle industry pulpen ex- extraction industry and cashew nut processing industry then provides the employment around the year so agronomical crops are the seasonal in nature and hence they can provide a seasonal employment while horticultural crops are perennial in nature and they requires the intensive care throughout the year hence we can provide the employment throughout the year then source of income throughout the year most of the vegetable flowers are seasonal or the annual which are harvested within a short period and gives the higher returns while some fruits which can uh, give the yield throughout the year then better utilization of inputs so the inputs like land labor and the other inputs can be utilized efficiently as compared to the agronomical crops then no recurring expenditure for the every year towards the planting material and the layout the horticultural crops are long lived that is they are per- perennial in nature once they are planted they remains years together and does not require the expenditure on the input for the every years so the better utilization of the barren land so the lot lots of the wasteland barren land the dry land is available in india that land can be efficiently utilized by growing the many fruit crops like the bear onla tamarind custard apple jamun wood apple karonda jack fruits so maintenance of the ecological balance the fruit trees help in a checking the soil erosion and maintain the ecological balance that is 33% of area of the earth should be under the trees cover and improves the rainfall condition and the microclimatic condition of the particular area it also helps to reduce the environmental pollution 
then social and religious importance the crops like coconut arecanut turmeric then various kinds of the flowers betel wine betel wine are also used in various religious functions then the fruits like the bel offered to the lord shiva and the mango leaves are used for the preparation of the toran the flowers are used as a symbol of the love and the friendship and they are used for the welcoming the guest then better foreign exchange there is a good demand for the um, uh, pomegranate mango cashew nut in foreign markets and fetches the good foreign exchange the horticultural crops have the huge potential for earning the valuable foreign exchange as compared to the agronomical crops the nutraceuticals uh, or the nutritional importance of the fruits as we know the fruits and the vegetables are the nature's gift to the mankind they are not only delicious and refreshing but are also the chief source of the vitamins minerals and the proteins they are essential for the normal physiological well being and help in the maintaining the healthy state and development of the resistance against the different pathogens then carbohydrates and the fats are the chief source of the energy the pectin and the cellulose content help in stimulating the intestinal activity deficiency of these nutrients can be cause the various disorders and diseases to the human so there is the huge scope and the importance of these horticultural crops in uh, india thank you